had, uh, this will be our third practice since the announcement on Monday that we made the Baton Rouge Regional. Uh, talk a little bit about being back on the practice field as you prepare for this uh, NCAA Regional. Uh, I mean, first of all, it's always nice to be practicing right now. A lot of teams in the country aren't. Uh, I mean, we consider ourselves very thankful for the opportunity uh, that was given to us. Uh, we, we need to practice right now more than anything, so it's a great feeling getting back out here. Just to perfect your skills a little bit before you go down there and play some big time teams. Um, feels like we're going to be ready, going to be prepared to go out there and play and go out there and win. Carson, uh, in years past, this team has been so-called snub from the regional. It was last year, you remember, uh, the 42 win season, 41 win season. How excited were y'all when your name popped up on that screen? Uh, for me, it's one of the cooler things that I've experienced just because, I mean, this is my first regional time postseason baseball, so uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's great not being done with, your, with your, your friends, your teammates. We get to keep playing. Uh, we get to keep coming out here and practicing with each other because, I mean, we knew it along with everyone else we think knew it. Uh, we weren't done yet. We had a lot to prove. We had a lot to show people. So we're glad we get the chance to do it. You said you said this is your first regional and it is. I don't want to call you one of the younger guys on the team because you've been a starter for two years. Uh, but have you gone to people like Sam or Fish and asked them, talk to them about what a regional is going to be like? Have, have you have you tried to lean on some of the senior, senior guys on this team? Yeah, I mean, I have. I've talked to a couple of them just more so if I need to expect anything different, but it all goes back to just playing it like it's no other different game. I mean, there's going to be more people there, of course, all that, but I mean, at the end of the game, it's just another game against another opponent that we plan to uh, give our best at and uh, maybe get a win. So that's all we really can do. As a Texas guy, I'm sure you know baseball history and you know about the history of Rice baseball and how good they've been through the years and Wayne Graham, their story coach. Uh, being from Texas, is it, are you a little excited for you being able to take on Rice? Oh yeah, it's exciting for me because that's where I wanted to go when I was a little kid just because, I don't know, the Rice house, it had something about it that I wanted to, wanted to experience, but I mean, there's no place I want to be, so now I'm ready to put it on them, do what we can to give our team a best chance to win, so. But being from Texas, it is cool playing a Texas team. It's going to be, it's going to be a cool experience for all my friends back home that are getting to watch and just seeing me from Louisiana playing Texas school, so. How hungry is this team to advance out of this regional and into a super regional and into Omaha? <laughs> That's what we talk about is our tournament team. It's a dangerous, dangerous team. Uh, Hungry is a word, though. I mean, we're ready to get it done. We're ready to keep moving forward, keep playing baseball, and finally starting to figure some things out that are gonna help us keep going in this right direction. So, yeah, hungry. That is that is what this team is. Just the fight and will that we have is you can't beat it. This will be your third time playing in uh, Alex Fox Stadium. You played there last year. You played there this year. That place really is the cathedral of college baseball. When, oh, you, yeah. when you are a baseball college baseball player, you want to play in that stadium. Talk a little yeah. bit about the environment there. Uh, it is something different. Uh, it's the park feels big. Uh, everyone feels like they're on top of you. I mean, it's definitely the biggest stadium I've ever played at. I'm super excited to see it packed out. I've never probably not gotten to play in front of that many fans in my life, so it'll always be a good experience. Um, but I mean, to me, it makes you want to be better just because, I mean, you know you have people watching you, you know where you're at. Uh, so I mean, all you can really do is play the best you can. Nothing any different than another game, like I said, it's just at a different place, so. Uh, Alex Box is, is a cool place. I'm excited that we get the chance to play there. And it's going to be a lot of fun for our guys. A lot more, we're more used to it so than other teams maybe, so maybe we'll have an upper hand on some other things. But uh, well, I'm very excited to play there for my first regional ever. It'll be a good experience. 
Skip's giving the ball to Mac. Uh, you played defense behind him 14 or 15 games this year. Talk a little bit of you've seen him from from a perfect perspective right there at second base. You right on him. You, you you know what he brings. Talk a little bit about Mac and what he brings to the table as a starter. Uh, he brings a lot of energy. Uh, I mean, whenever he's on the mound, everyone in the field's confident about it. Uh, you know he's going to throw strikes. You know he's going to find the zone. If he struggles, he's going to make an adjustment to get out of it. Makes playing defense behind him a lot easier. Just because I mean. I mean, if they do hit them hard, we're going to make the plays, and a lot of times they don't. So, I mean, it gets us out of there without doing anything. But, uh, yeah, playing behind him is one of the easier ones just because he's so competitive, and you just know he's going to get in there and give you strikes, give you, give you give the defense chances to make plays, and that's all we need, really, because everyone plays great defense behind him. We're going to continue that, and just hopefully that he gets out there like he normally does and just competes, competes how he usually does. I'm not going to ask you to talk about yourself off this. I'm going to ask you to talk about one of your teammates, uh, Fish. Everybody knows what he does with the stick in his hand. Yeah. Uh, from your perspective of, of, of hitting so close to him in the lineup, what, what do you see from him when he when he steps into the box? Uh, I mean, he's always at like he like starts it going like uh, like just the way he puts the bat on the ball so consistently every time. I mean. Obviously, it gives me that confidence in myself that I can hit this kid too. Because I mean, we're not that much different of a player. He's just figured it out a lot quicker than other guys have. But my perspective is probably the same thing as all y'all's. It's just it's unbelievable to watch. It's it's fun to watch. I mean, when he's in the plate, you know he's in the plate. He's got that presence about him, and it's something that everyone should strive for. Just because I mean, he is a great hitter. Uh, he's got confidence in him, and he's got all of us behind him. I know that. Um, but hitting behind him, it's just, it helps me sometimes. I mean, he gets the guys in, and then I just got to worry about getting him in. But, I mean, if he can't get it done, that's what I'm there for is hopefully pick him up. And that's all I really try to do is just get it to the next guy, get our jobs done. That's the same thing he's doing.